Hello to all of you. Um, hello on behalf of uh, TESOL Macedonia Thrace. My name is Andigone Melidagnotti. And as a member of the board, I will be sharing my Christmas activity with you. Well, the name of the Christmas activity I have come up with is the Upsell Down Advent Calendar. Well, I guess you have already understood where the idea came from. Yes, the Advent tree. However, I'm going to use it with a twist. Uh, the first twist is that usually Advent calendars empty as we progress. Well, this garland becomes bigger as we progress towards Christmas. Um, it's a very easy, uh, activity and um, we only use uh, very simple materials like strips of paper, stick glue, colored markers and random acts of kindness because not only is it an upside down advent garland but there's no chocolate. <laughs> uh, so let's get started. First of all, why a perfect garland? Well, to begin with, it is cost effective. Also, time effective. It's very easy to cut some strips of paper. You don't even need a pair of scissors. <laughs> so you can understand how easy to make, not only for us, uh, the teachers, but also for uh, our learners. And of course, it is engaging as everyone gets involved. Now, uh, what <clears throat> do we do? Uh, I have strips of paper and you can see already the outcome, a part of the outcome. Well, there, my students write on each strip of paper uh, an act of kindness they have selected. Usually I provide them with a variety of uh, choices, usually 10 per week, so they get to choose uh, which ones I apply to them. Uh, so you can imagine uh, that everyone feels free to select, uh, uh, to have an opinion of their own, and this gives them an extra boost. Um, especially in young learners, we also practice writing skills uh, apart from everything else. The good thing is that they put it into effect. Uh, this is something that we have already established. At least try to put it into effect either on the same day or the day after. The minute they uh, have uh, put it into effect, they have realized this uh, act of kindness then they can create a strip on their garland. So you can imagine there is an incentive. So by hopefully by Christmas Eve, all the learners will have completed 24 acts of kindness, which means 24 pieces uh, on the garland each. Um, well, do the math and you can understand how big the garland uh, will become. Uh, you can use it to decorate a Christmas tree, a wall, a door, even the staircase. The, my learners have decided to decorate the staircase because there are no decor there is no decoration missed on the staircase. So you can imagine uh, who has won this battle. Now, uh, of course, uh, for many of uh, you who know me, you may understand that the minute I come up with an idea, uh, it's only natural that I will come up with an alternative. So um, there are many alternatives. One of them is using uh, paper stars instead of strips of paper. Why not paper bells or even Christmas bubbles? However, I think that they are uh, more time consuming. Um, and for this reason, I didn't uh, choose any of these for this year. Also, an advent tree 
but again with a twist. So instead of emptying the pockets, how about filling the pockets again with random uh, acts of kindness? I have uh, been using this this year as well with my uh, senior levels. Um, they uh, get to pick uh, kinds of acts of kindness uh, after they have done some research okay, with my help, uh, of course. And they are creating their own small uh, post-it notes and they have been feeling uh, the pockets um, and hopefully by the end of uh, this uh, semester, by Christmas Eve, we will have uh, filled the whole tree. Uh, to be honest, I didn't create a tree. I have bought one from a supermarket. Uh, it's great. Uh, so no need to worry about not having the time to create one. Trust me, it costs less than paying for all the materials. Well, so <laughs> somebody could just create a mason jar. Easy peasy, we all know the drill. We all know what uh, we can um, do with mason jars. Uh, so each class could decorate its own, fill it with random acts of kindness, and of course, <laughs> put them uh, into effect as well. Or why not? It could be an individual uh, jar or even a, uh, a school uh, mason jar. The, the possibilities are endless, and I'm sure that you are all far more um, experienced than me uh, in that area. So just use your imagination, uh, use your uh, learner's imagination, and let magic uh, do its trick. Well, that's all from me. And as it says here, have yourselves a merry little Christmas. Enjoy. Uh, may your lives be filled with love, light, and happiness. And may we all have a happy new year. Thank you.